What's up guys? It's Wednesday. It's time for the Tommy's Toy Box Wednesday walkthrough. Here we go. Got to make it quick. I got to go pick up little T. So here we go. 1969 Dodge W200 Power Wagon 383 four speed original paint runs and drives great fired up lights and gauges all work wipers heater the radio does not work turns on but no sound so might be speakers might be something It's got some rust in the rockers, but the floors are pretty solid on it. Motor runs good, smokes a little bit every now and then, but they all do. Same thing with the rocker on this side. Alright, next we got the 1979 D100 two-wheel drive short bed. It's a slant six four-speed truck. Super solid rust-free truck out of Arizona. Got some dents in the bed on this side. But she is solid. I don't know about you, but I'd gladly take dents over rust. Runs good, motor scene sounds smooth. It's a little, little sewing machine. Did I give you a price on that? 12.5. 12.5 on a blue power wagon. I don't think I set a price. 12,500 on a blue power wagon. Sorry. Uh, yeah. That's it, man. Plain Jane. Super solid. Just waiting for you to drop a big block in it. 7,500 bucks. 7,500 bucks. Next. We got the Swamp Thing. 1971 Dodge W100 Adventure Short Bed Four Wheel Drive Power Wagon. Pretty solid truck. Floors are decent. Steps are good. This rocker is pretty good. It's got a hole right there, but other than that, it's not too bad. Rock good. <coughs> Got a dent in the roof. Three eighteen automatic. Rocker's nice. Looks like someone did some work on a door here. Some rust here. Nothing crazy. Steps are nice. Lights and gauges all work. Pretty 
previous owner swapped out the original factory axles for the newer style axles with disc brakes. So it is full time four wheel drive now. There you go. Price? 7500 bucks. There you go. Can't beat that. All right, let's go inside. <coughs> All right, we got the 1973 Volkswagen thing. This is original paint, 67,000 original miles, rust free. Runs and drives great, new tires. Really nice original Survivor. Nineteen thousand nine hundred on the Volkswagen thing. Nineteen nine. Next, we got the 1977 Dodge Ram Charger. Oh my God, this thing is so freaking sweet. Oh, original paint, Ram Charger SE, factory 400 big block, factory AC, factory roll bar, original interior, which is still in excellent condition. It's got two little tears on the driver's seat right there and right there. The rest of it's very nice. Console. This truck came out of Texas. Been off the road since 1985. Bought new in Eagle Dodge in Houston, Texas. Look, still got the plate. I left the plate on there. Look at that. How cool is that? Ah, son. Damn it. Yeah, interior is really nice. Needs carpet. But look at the floors underneath there. They're pretty. But yeah, original carpet needs replaced. Pretty much stock, unmolested under the hood. Put a new radiator in it because the original one was leaking. Master cylinder, water pump, you know, pretty much did a tune up on the motor. Heater core started leaking once we fired it up and got it running, so it will need a heater core. Uh, just got a bypass for now. So I'm thinking, I really wanted to finish this truck, but I just don't know if I'm going to have time. I got six more trucks coming and so i'm thinking about selling it as is if i can get eighteen thousand for it as it sits i'll let it go um if i can't over the next few weeks i'm just going to keep working on it i'm gonna fix the rust spot i'll put a windshield in it i'll put the carpet in it and get it to where it's a reliable turnkey driver um and then obviously i'll sell it for i don't know probably mid 20s mid to high 20s i mean because where else they ain't making any more big block Ram chargers, and I just love the two-tone green paint with the green interior. It's just super cool. So if you want it for 18000 you better call me quick. All right, moving on. We got the 1984 Dodge W350 crew cab, power ram, short bed, four-wheel drive, original paint, rust-free,
super clean, original interior. Very nice. Runs and drives great. I think I have the original uh, window sticker for this. I got a bunch of paperwork with it. Yeah, original paint, rust-free truck. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Door panels are perfect. Back seat's perfect. It's a beautiful truck. It's a factory 360 four-speed truck. Original owner swapped out the 360 for a steel crank 440. 71 day code 440. Did a very nice job on the swap. Everything looks factory. Very clean. Beautiful truck. all work the only gauge that doesn't work is the oil pressure gauge obviously because he put a mechanical one in there um, yeah absolutely beautiful truck odometer reads 108 664 I just uh, took it on its uh, final road test today took it on a freeway drove 30 miles and turned around drove 30 miles back so it was about an hour trip did great no issues so she is ready to roll just got to get some pictures and get her posted on the website price will be 34.9 on the crew cab absolutely beautiful original paint rust free big block four wheel drive crew cab 34.9 and we got our next crew cab, 79D200. It's our original paint, factory H3C sundowner stripes, which are awesome. Adventure package, 360 automatic factory AC truck, not currently operating. Well, I should say it blows warm. So you know the deal on that. But uh, runs and drives great. Lights and gauges all work. Pretty nice interior. Driver's seat's starting to get some small tears in it, but it's not bad. Back seat's perfect. Really nice truck. rare truck too most of the most of the crew cabs back in the day were uh, mostly they were like utility trucks or like the, the phone company or the power company or the road department so they were all usually plain Jane just orange or yellow very rarely did you see one that was kind of a loaded package especially with the cool stripes like I said 360 pretty much original stock what I like. Grill's nice. Really cool truck. Floats down the road.
Very nice. 19.5 on the crew cab. 19,500. The Blue Ram Charger sold, just waiting on shipping. Fire it up just because she's so cool. She's so cool and sounds so damn good. Oh, never mind. Battery's dead. Sorry, Shane. We'll get her charged up. Uh. We just got them stacked up back here. We got that 77D100. Still trying to get that motor freed up. I think I uh, might have to pull it, but that's okay. The truck deserves it. It's so cool. And then we got the dually. Magic Man J just uh, finishing up the dually fenders here. Look at them. Things were perfect. You guys remember how bad they were? This, I think it was this one. I had the giant hole in it. Look like somebody put their fists through it. You can't even see it. My man got skills. So yeah, those will be done. I think he's planning on painting those Friday. And those will be back on the, the Dodge City Dually. And then uh, she'll be back in action. I got to throw the trim back on it. But yeah, there you go. There's your Wednesday walkthrough. Um... I do got a few more trucks coming in. What do I got coming in? I got another, I got two trail dusters. I got uh, that 78 single cab long bed, just two wheel drive, but super clean, red and white, all original. That one's coming in. And then I got a blue W200 power wagon, 360 truck. And then I got our red and white club cap, big block power wagon that's going to be coming in soon too. Oh, and I got that crew cap. That crew cap, the 60, I think it's a 63 or 64, I don't remember. Crew cap, power wagon, rust free. Rust free. Yeah, that's coming in too. So, all right guys. If you uh, hope you enjoyed it, if you see anything you like, feel free. Give me a call, 330-729-5732. Tommy's Toy Box, located in Struthers, Ohio. And uh, I do offer nationwide shipping, and I can also ship to Canada now. So, you guys way up north, if you see any of these bad boys, just give me a holler. So, all right, guys, hope everybody has a good night. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take it easy.